Alright boys, so upon the joining, Kalanor, make sure to type in Kolongola Ref in game and then click on my name, FBK Merc, and you will get yourself all of these items in the bank right here, so make sure to do that. Hey, what is going on guys? In today's video, we are gonna be giving away three $50 Christmas deal. And boys, every $50 deal contains one $50 bond, one owner box, uh, two executive boxes, ten Kalanor keys, then Kalanor chest gems, as well as one collector orb upgraded. So make sure to enter up, boys. There is a massive giveaway right here. And all you guys have to do to be entered up is that you guys have to like the video, comment sharing game name, subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications, comment join my personal Discord, and also add me on Snapchat, FBK Merc. And that is all you guys have to do. Good luck, and I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Alright, right, boys, in today's video, we are gonna be checking out Kalanor RSPS's brand new updates. They are happy to announce the release of Heroic Slayer 2. So as you guys can see, Heroic Slayer 2 Phase 1. Heroic Slayer 2 is a new skill for you to train. Look at that, boys. They literally have a custom skill now. This skill does not currently require it for the max as well as completion escapes and is not needed for prestige. The skill must be first unlocked by reading a Heroic Slayer 2 book that can be purchased from the Heroic Slayer 1 shop. And yes, that's how it looks like, as you can see. And similar to the regular Slayer skill, speak to the Heroic Slayer 2 Master to receive a Slayer task. You will receive Heroic Slayer 2 points at the end of the task, and the amount of points you receive will differ based on which creature you were assigned. How many were assigned as well as your task streak as well. All the current existing Heroic Slayer 2 task creatures can be found from the Heroic Slayer 2 teleport option in the teleport menu. So let's have a look boys, look at these beautiful monsters right over here, these are very very cool. And then we also have the Heroic Slayer 2 rewards as well, look at that boys. First of all the Heroic Cannon fires Heroic Cannon balls that can deal much more damage than a regular cannon. And that's how it looks like as well. Then also combat relics as well. Relic of strength increases melee damage by 15% for 10 minutes. As well as it also has a 30 minute cooldown. Uh, all of the combat relics have a 30 minute cooldown as you can see. Then also relic of magic increases magic damage by 15% for 10 minutes. As well as yeah it also has a 30 minute cooldown as well. Then Relic of Ranging increases range damage by 15% for 10 minutes. Relic of Defense reduces damage taken by 50% for 10 minutes. And yes look at these bad boys these are very very cool. And then they also have Raid Relics as well. Uh, Relic of Raids, uh, Chambers of Xerix reduces damage inside of the Chambers of Xeric by 50% while active, and it also must be activated every raid. Then they also have a Relic of Raids TOB, Relic of Raids TOA, as well as Relic of Raids TOS, which is their custom raid as well. And yes, they have relics for every single raid. There are four raids in total at Kalanor RSPS, and uh, yeah, damage inside of the raids will be pretty much reduced by 50% so these are very OP and then they also have auras as well a magic aura gives you plus 30 magic damage stat bonus a range aura gives you plus 30 magic damage stat bonus as well as slayer aura will give you plus 30% bonus heroic slayer 2 points if equipped when that's complete so these are very very OP auras as well. And then also new upgradable item in the upgrade chest as you can see. You can upgrade two heroic slayer helmets and a heroic skull into a heroic slayer helm eye. That gives a 15% damage bonus against heroic slayer 2 monsters if it is your current task. So that's super OP. And then also drop table previews as well. Look at that, boys. Here we have the beautiful Virtus Majors, Void Rangers, Storva Warriors, Kalanor Guards, Kalanor Wizards, as well as Mazori Rangers. Look at these drops right here. These are very, very choicy. And uh, here we have the Heroic Slayer 2 World Boss as well, the Enraged uh, Demon Goblin. Every few hours, the World Boss will spawn, and players with at least level 40 Heroic Slayer will be able to join the battle. And yes, that's how the enraged uh, demon goblin looks like. Crazy, crazy new updates have been made at Kalanor, as you guys can see. A brand new skill, new relics, new auras, 
new auto mode sets and stuff like that. Massive, massive new updates. Have a look at that, boys. And we will also now head in the game. And we will also go and check out these updates in the game as well. So that is going to be the plan. All right, all right. So as you guys can see, we have got the new items right over here. We have got the beautiful PP stuff, the PP spirit shield, as well as have a look at that, boys. We have the magic aura right over here. We have the secret heroic boots, magic supporter ring. Secret Heroic Necklace Magic, etc. As well as here we also have the Tumekens Blood. We have the Legendary Spirit Shield. As well as, let's see what else, boys. We also have the Range Aura right over here. And we have all these beautiful relics as well. These are looking absolutely amazing. And by the way, voting is also super profitable at Kalanor RSPS. I highly recommend everybody to vote every single day. And these are the Kalanor daily vote streak rewards right here. Look at all these rewards. These rewards are super juicy. So simply for voting every single day, you can get yourself all these lovely rewards. So make sure to vote in Kalanor RSPS because, as I said, it is very, very profitable. And by the way, guys, I will now go and do some Tom's of Amazon good at Kalanor RSPS and we will go and test out the new relics and everything so that is going to be the plan and yes boys Kalanor has beautiful Tom's of Amiskut as well as they have also got a custom raid as well and also Theater of Blood, Chambers of Xerix so there are literally four raids in total and here we also have the grouping obelisk as well we can sort the parties, etc. Here we also have the invocations board as well. Look at that, boys. And yeah, here we can also set the raid levels and everything as well. So that's what we will also do in a few. All right, all right, boys. So that's how my gear is going to look like. I will take all the relics with me. Also the range aura as well as the Mazori X. And we will also take the elite wasted bow as well. And then we also have the sight of madness. So that's going to be my gear right here. Let's start the Tom's of Amiskut, and that's what we will do, boys. All right, all right, boys. So we will use the new relics, as well as I will also put my level up to 350 plus. So that is going to be the plan, boys. All right, boys. So I will do it with 300. We have got all of these uh, bad boys, you know, activated right over here. And as you guys can see, it is 300. Raid level 300, mode expert. That's gonna be the plan, boys. All right, all right, boys. It's actually 350. That's what we will do, guys. 350 level right over here. Mode expert. Let's get it, boys. Instead of 300, we will do 350. And all right, all right, boys. We will go in right over here. So let's see how it's gonna go. That's gonna be the first room right over here that we are gonna complete. Let's go and hit quick enter. And that's what we will do, boys. That's what we will do. Let's get started. All right, here we are, boys. Here we are. Let's also activate all the relics right over here. And that's how these bad boys look like. That is very, very cool, boys. All right, all right. Have a look at that, boys. We are on the grind right over here. We are killing the obelisk. And that's how we do it, boys. That's how we do it. Just like that. Let's be real careful, though. All right, all right. So we can now kill the Elidinis Warden right over here. All right, all right, boys. So we had to switch to range right over here, as you can see. And uh, yes, there we go, boys. We are now using the Mazori X with the Elite Twisted Bow. Let me also use the mask as well. And all right, boys. We have the Tumakens Warden right here. And all right, boys. Your party has successfully completed the raid within the 9-minute time restriction. There we go, boys. Nice. And we will now be able to open up the chest as well. But boys, these new relics are very, very powerful. As I said, these are super crazy, boys. So, yeah, let's now open it up and see what we will get, boys. There is my chest right over here. And that's what we managed to get, boys. There we go. But, yo, these new relics are super OP at Kalanor RSPS. As well as these new auras and everything. But, boys, link for Kalanor RSPS will be down below in the video's description. So, definitely make sure to come and join today, boys. And get on the grind. This server has loads of unique content to offer. And, yes, boys, the referral reward that you guys will get for joining is also very worth it. So, I hope to see you guys all online. Have a good one. And peace out, everybody.